It was easily one of the most contentious presidential elections in history and the most divisive. I am not a Trump supporter, and some of my acquaintances were, so I did a lot of unfriending on Facebook. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I know many people who actually have, which surprised me, like people that they know well, they have deleted them from Facebook. We did have a few debates. Other than that, it didn't affect it or end any of our relationships. No, because we never talk politics. With <laughs> um, yeah, it does. Finding someone to disagree with you is easy. Understanding their point of view is hard. So a few new digital features might help you out with that. Flipfeed invites you to step into someone else's Twitter feed. Created by MIT researchers, you just click a button and, for instance, if you're a conservative, your Twitter feed will flip to a random, anonymous liberal tweeter. The iPhone app Read Across the Aisle color codes each news website from moderate to partisan and tracks your reading history. If you're reading mostly on the left, it'll send you an alert to get out of your bubble and read a news story from the right. And the Chrome extension Escape Your Bubble lets you do just that. After asking which party you want to learn more about, it will insert stories into your Facebook feed to expose you to different political views. If you really want to put the thickness of your bubble to the test, PBS has a quiz on their website you can take to really see how disconnected you are. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.